Hey guys, today I have the Devo 7E from Volcara. The 7E is a great little transmitter for short range aircraft like micro helicopters and quads. Instead of having a different transmitter for each of your devices, you just have to carry one and control them all. The controls are a lot smoother than the included um, ready to fly transmitters and with the addition of a few RF chips you can open it up to more protocols. The screen is well lit and offers good contrast even on the lowest settings. Compared to my Devo 10 screen, it's much better. Even though the screen on the Devo 10 is bigger, it's way too bright even on the lowest setting making it washed out and hard to read. The 7E doesn't have this problem. The sticks on the 7E are made of plastic, but they can be easily upgraded to metal ones. I've already swapped mine out by unscrewing them. You can find them on eBay, Hobby King, Banggood for a couple of dollars. The sticks themselves are very smooth and make flying a lot easier compared to the stock included transmitters. The 7E only has two two position switches, but there are mods to add additional switches if two isn't enough for you. So on the side of the transmitter, there is this uh, mini USB jack here for you to plug up to your computer to easily upgrade the firmware or upload uh, new models. And when you plug it up to your computer, it shows up as a two megabyte flash drive. So back here, you have the charging port. If you're using nickel metal hydrate batteries, you can charge your batteries directly from this port. And this port right here is a three and a half inch headphone jack used for the trainer port. And there's also this mysterious hole here, which is plugged up by this rubber piece here. Uh, I don't really know what that's for, but it is there. And this transmitter fe features some really nice grips on the back of the unit as well as the sides and it makes it a lot easier to, to grip. It's powered by four AA batteries, but you can always upgrade it to two cell lithium polymer or lithium iron batteries. It uses a standard red JST plug. So some might find the 7E a bit too small, but I actually prefer the 7E. I think that it's nice and portable and feels good in the hand. Since I don't like using a neck strap, I, I find that it's a good weight and it feels really dense and solid and not hollow like some of the other transmitters. The 7E's claim to fame along with other Devo transmitters from Wokera is its ability to speak many protocols. Its stock firmware can only communicate with Wokera protocols out of the box. However, once deviation is installed, Spectrum's DSM2 and DSMX is unlocked, allowing it to bind with nearly all Spectrum compatible bind and fly aircraft as well as receivers. As good as it is, there is a few limitations to the 7E. First, it's capped at seven milliwatts. So the range is limited, but for a transmitter of this type, which isn't really used for long range, it's quite adequate. For longer range, but with similar capabilities, you may want to look at the Devo 10. It's a full-size transmitter with more channels, uh, switches, with longer range and has the same ability to speak many protocols with deviation firmware and some off-the-shelf RF modules. Additional RF modules aren't plug and play but it's an option if you have some soldering skills. By adding the A7105 RF module for about $10, the 7E can use the FlySky and uh, Hubson protocols and a few other ones as well. And by adding the NRF24 module, it can speak basically high sky SEMA and many other protocols. Uh, I got one for about 99 cents. With the built-in CYRF 6936 chip and the two other modules I mentioned, you essentially have most of the bind and fly type of aircraft covered quads, helis, planes from E-Flight, uh, Wokera, SEMA, Hubson, and many more will work if they use the protocols I mentioned. The less common CC2500 chip allows for FR Sky and SkyRTech protocols, uh, which aren't too common, but that is an option if you need to talk in those protocols. Uh, more support is added constantly as research is done, and because of this versatility, you don't have to rely on one type of receiver. Your options open up to DSM2, like I mentioned, DSMX, FlySky, and many more. So a few of the devices I use my Devo transmitters with are my Parrot AR drone, uh, which has the mirror mod and it runs with a uh, DSM2 receiver. My Hubson X4, the uh, WL Toys V911, the V911 Pro, uh, my Blade MSR, which runs DSM2, Blade 120 SR, which is also DSM2, uh, WL Toys V977, High Sky, and the list goes on. There's a lot of devices that this will work with. So there's a list of RC models that are supported by uh, deviation firmware that is in the description. Have a look at it, and you'll notice that there's gonna be a lot of them, and you probably own them already. So I'll quickly go over what is involved with adding additional RF chips 
to the Devo 7, I added the A7105 and the NRF24 chips. Both of them have onboard antennas which is sufficient for indoor or short range usage. You have to open up the 7E by removing the rubber grips on the sides and the back and then you can take off the five 2mm hex screws. There isn't a whole lot of room inside the 7E compartment itself so try not to have too much excess wiring. Use thinner gauge wiring as well. I soldered the modules according to the pinouts from the official deviation site. The instructions are color coded and easy to follow. I carefully soldered both the modules to the 70E's PCB board making sure the solder joints are solid and that I can put it back together after I'm done. I then heat shrink the modules so that they don't short anything. The deviation firmware has to be installed and the modules enabled in the INI file. Flashing deviation on the Devo 70 is quite easy. To put it into firmware upgrade mode, just plug it to your computer, hold down the exit button and turn on the transmitter. Then run the Volcara defuse program and then flash the DFU file and then copy the file system to your uh, Devo 70's onboard memory. After deviation is installed, you can edit the INI file to enable the additional modules. You can create models from scratch or download from the internet. Owning both the Devo 10 and the 7E, it's really hard for me to decide which one to keep if I had to only keep one. They're both great transmitters. However, if I had to keep one, I'd probably choose the Devo 10 since it's more full featured with uh, more channels and switches. With that said, I use the 7E for indoors, mainly for micro quads and helis, and for outdoors where I need more range, I use the Devo 10. The Devo transmitters from Volcara have pretty much made my Spectrum DX6i and Turn G9X redundant, and I ended up selling them because I don't use them anymore. If you're looking for a compact, all-in-one, universal transmitter, the Devo 70 is a great option. When it's modded, it can control most of the short range, line of sight, aircraft out there and it's also good as a second transmitter if you already own a full size one. For the price it'd be pretty hard to find a more capable radio like the Devo 7E. And that's it for my review. If you found this video useful, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.